Adventure awaits in the faraway world of Plumeria, where teams of heroes strive through challenges to discover treasure, battle monsters, and increase their status as the best in the land. In Warfighter Fantasy, you lead a team of heroes that complete adventures across the ancient world of Plumeria. The game can be played solitaire or cooperatively with up to six players. You create the party of adventurers, arm them with weapons and equipment, and face hostile forces as they seek fortune and glory. You win by completing the adventure, or the adventure ends when the last member of your party has no health remaining. The core game has all you need to begin, using the proven Warfighter system. In this game, the fantasy world is the equivalent to the early medieval, pre-gunpowder era of Earth around 900 AD. It is recommended that your first few games comprise of one to two player heroes, and the rest being a mix of team, non-player, and squad heroes. You begin by choosing a campaign that will provide the resource points needed to create your team. Resource points are used to purchase the heroes, equipment, and anything else that you need or desire to have during your adventure. For campaigns, you are given 50 resource points, while single adventures have their own set of resource points that you can use. Any points that you do not use are turned into gold, which you can spend later. Keep in mind that you can purchase any card as many times as the resource points allows, regardless of the number of cards of that type which exist in the game. The resource point price or cost in terms of money can be found in the upper right corner of each card. In the game there are four types of heroes. You must choose at least one player hero for your party, as only they can draw cards from the action deck which includes new locations. Player heroes require you to pay the resource cost and then pay for the skills, weapons, armor, shields, and mundane gear you desire if they fit under the loadout rating. The text at the bottom indicates what comes free with a hero. Team heroes are identical to player heroes in every way except they cannot draw action cards. Non-player heroes cannot draw action cards, but their purchase price does come with the skills, weapons, armor, shields, and other items that are listed on the card. And finally, squad heroes are like non-player heroes, but their actions and means of attack are listed on the card. Once you have created your team, the next step is to start the campaign or adventure. Now you can set up the tactical display and put the campaign in the top left corner which in the core game is Plumeria. Shuffle the town cards by tier, then deal one mythic town card, followed by a legendary town card on top of the mythic card. Add three renowned towns on top of that, followed by three common towns, and finally two nuisance towns. Put the rest of the towns on the side, which will be used for any desperation adventures. Next, Build the item deck by shuffling 20 item cards and putting the rest in the box. The cards that go in your deck should be useful to your party, so remove any that do not apply to the heroes that you have selected. Now you're ready to go. You start by drawing the top card of the town deck and placing it in the town space. The party position counter should be placed in that town with the town side up. Now, resolve all the text on the town card, which may include skill checks. Now you can perform activities in the town as many times as your resources allow. You can also exchange coins at this time. A single copper coin can be used to remove a wound from a hero. A single gold coin can be paid to gain a hero point. Hero points can be used for improving the hero, spending it on skills, or purchasing another hero. Hero points that are saved can be used to level up a hero, which may gain or lose them gear depending on the effect. If leveling up gains a skill that your hero already has, you can get the cost of the skill in hero points instead. Hero points can also be used to purchase a new hero and provide them with any cards that are assigned to them. You can also repair or mend any item at the cost of what is printed on the card. If there is no stated repair cost, you cannot make any repairs. And you can buy or sell weapons, shields, armor, and any mundane gear. However, you can only sell such items if they are undamaged or have been fully repaired. 
And now you're ready for your first adventure or campaign in Warfighter Fantasy. Future videos in the series will cover more of the rules, cards, and nuances of the game in greater detail. But for now, create your team and start your first adventure in Warfighter Fantasy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next Wednesday.